In this video, we want to find the integral of cosine squared times sine squared. The way we're going to solve this is by making a substitution. So we know that sine squared plus cosine squared is equal to 1. And so if we solve for cosine squared, we get cosine squared is 1 minus sine squared. And now we can multiply the sine squared to the 1 and the negative sine squared. So we have sine squared minus sine to the fourth. And now we're going to use a trig identity. So sine squared is 1 minus cosine 2 theta over 2. And so for sine to the fourth, we're going to take sine squared and then square that again. So basically, square this, and then we'll square that. So that's what we have here. Now we distribute the 1 minus cosine 2 theta squared as 1 minus 2 cosine 2 theta plus cosine squared 2 theta. And at this point we just simplify, we use algebra. So we have a 1 half minus a 1 fourth, that's going to give us 1 fourth. And then we have negative cosine 2 theta minus negative 2 cosine 2 theta over 4. So that gives us 1 fourth and then the negative cosine 2 theta over 2 will cancel with a negative 2 cosine 2 theta over 4. So we're left with 1 fourth minus cosine squared 2 theta over 4. And then from here we're going to use the double angle identity. So cosine squared theta is 1 plus cosine 2 theta over 2. But here instead of theta we have 2 theta so we'll replace this inside with 4 theta. Okay, and now we can integrate this, but let's do a little bit more simplifying. Um, so here we have a 1 fourth minus a 1 eighth, that's going to give us 1 eighth, and then minus cosine 4 theta over 8. So we're just going to integrate that and get 1 eighth theta minus sine 4 theta over 32 plus c. And that is our final answer.